What are your plans for summer 2015? Family trip to Mallorca? Girls holiday to Ibiza? Or perhaps a couple's retreat in the Seychelles? Well, forget about it, because it's been announced today that next year we'll see the grand reopening of Margate's Dreamland. After being closed for 11 years, the Dreamland Trust, along with Hemingway Design and Thanet District Council, are throwing its doors open for another shot at the big time. Dreamland is a part of this town's heritage. It was officially established in 1920, but there have been rides on this site since the late 1800s. And that is what Eddie Kelmsley, the director of the project, is hoping to bring back a bit of old fashioned fun. We, we were determined to nod to the past, but with a modern twist and capture people's emotion and deliver that emotion for the next generation. So when people remember the fun they had, the innocence, the, the just, just that kind of ability to, to really let, let your hair down and have a good time, um, that's what we want to capture and that's what we want to deliver for generations to come. It sounds good, but the big question is, will it work? I ask people who live in Margate what they think. It would be a great benefit for the town and, uh, you know, for the economy, really. If it happens, it will be wonderful. Margate needs to encourage day trippers back down here and Dreamland will definitely do that. So it seems there is enthusiasm about the return of the park and people would be glad to see it open again. But with the plan still to be finalised and a whole lot of work to do, we'll just have to wait to see if Dreamland can become a reality. Graham Stothard, KMTV, Margate.